guys and welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look at and see what messages are coming in for you in relation to love and romance. These messages are going to be general guys so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. So once again these messages are general guys so please just keep that in mind. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what is it that the universe is communicating with you or wants to communicate with you, okay? We'll see what messages are trying to reach you here. So let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. Okay, I feel like there's some very powerful messages here. Straight away, I'm getting the fact that there is a connecting romantic energy around you. Someone with whom you have, you have a very special connection with this person. Okay, this person feels like a soulmate energy, perhaps even a twin flame energy. There's such an emotional um, intensity to this connection. But there's also something I feel like that keeps this person blocked. Or for some of you, there's this sense that the two of you have ended on two separate paths here. So you may have disconnected from one another. You may have separated, whether permanently or just, you know, temporarily, just briefly. There's some sort of distance here, whether it's the two of you are, you know, at a distance geographically from one another. Or whether the two of you are emotionally disconnected right now. But it appears as though the, the driving force here, being the universe, is doing everything in its power here to ensure that you two cross paths again. Okay, so for some of you, this is someone whom you haven't reconnected with in years. But this person had, and I feel like has and always will, hold a very special place in your heart. So I feel like there is someone here, and it feels like this person... You've had history with this person. You've had a connection with this person. Now, some of you, it may not even have been a relationship or it may not even necessarily have had a title attached to it. But you know that what the two of you had was very special. And it feels as though this person has never truly moved on from you. This person has never truly forgotten you. Even though what you had was very complicated. It was a very complicated state of affairs. There was a lot of inconsistencies in their behavior, in their emotions. There was a very, this energy of up and down, on and off, back and forth. There was a lot of exhaustion here. Look, there were a lot of games being played here as well. But it feels like back then this person was very immature. Okay, they were young and look, they may have even been into playing head games here. But I feel like the reason why, it's important for you to know that the reason why you guys ended up going separate ways or the reason why you guys had to leave each other behind was that because you each had a path that was destined for you, okay? You went your way because there was some work that you had to do on yourself. And the journey that you had to take was going to was always going to be a journey of solitude. You know that inner work that you had to do? Well, that had... That required all of your attention and you being in a relationship with this person meant that you wouldn't have had that time and that energy um, that you deserve. You couldn't have dedicated that to yourself. So 
likewise your person here had to you know the universe removed this person from your life or this person ended up going separate ways from you is because the journey that they were taking it was also a journey of solitude it was a spiritual path it was an awakening it was you know doing some work some inner work on themselves okay i could see that they definitely ended up choosing uh, sorry choosing they ended up choosing the path that served in their best interest but that path that they had to take was a path that they had to take alone and now that the two of you have had you've done some work you've done some inner work you guys have grown you guys have evolved you've both chose paths here that grew you that evolved you here that elevated you and now it feels like the universe here wants to connect the two of you back together again you know it wants to ensure that your pathways will once again cross and once again meet and there is an opportunity for that special reunion for that sense of homecoming to take place in the future it's important for you to understand that it was always the fact that you guys separated and the fact that you guys end up going separate ways that was always destined that was always written in your plans because if you think about how things were back then i mean there were a fluctuating presence in your life they were immature they were playing head games mind games and hey you might have been in on it too this is why the universe wanted to create this separation, this division between the two of you. Because the universe wanted you to work on yourself here before actually working on a relationship here. Okay, because any insecurities or any issues that you have within, you know, anything that needs fixing, pain, hurt, pain, um, I said it, right? I said it twice, um, insecurities, anxieties, anything, any losses here, you had to take the time to work through those. So did your connecting romantic energy because those issues or that pain, it's likely that it would only have surfaced at a later time in the relationship, in the connection. It would only surface later down the line. And not only that, but it would have been this extremely vicious and painful cycle that it would be very hard or almost impossible for the two of you to escape from had you stayed in this kind of toxic or this back and forth kind of energy so you've you know you've done the inner work or you're still doing the inner work so is your person and now i feel like the universe he wants to orchestrate um, a meeting here because it feels like someone here i don't know if it's you or this person someone he spent a very long time going from relationship to relationship someone he always had options they always had romantic suitors always had admirers and therefore they've never really taken the time to breathe here okay to breathe and just to fall in love with themselves here and it feels as though because this person was always in a relationship they were always very fearful very scared of dealing with their own issues so rather they, you know, wanted to work on the relationship. But the universe really saw it as an opportunity for the two of you to come apart so you can do the work on yourself and you can come back stronger together. So I am seeing, you know, the halo that wraps around the uh, man's head here? It's like a reference to the sun. I am seeing that in a very odd way, this separation is only brought you closer together. Because... Someone here, the both of you, I feel like finally and intentionally took that time to work on yourself, to do, you know, to become a happier person here, to choose things that serve, serve you positively and in your best interest. Someone here took the time to be single, I can see that. Um, someone took the time to acknowledge the pain within them, um, work on any distractions, focus, work on themselves here to be a better person. And it feels as though during the separation, someone finally took responsibility for that, for like their previous relationships. They took responsibility for the role that they played, perhaps even for the breakdown of this relationship. It felt like someone here has done so much maturing and growing up. And when you connect with this person next year, it feels as though you will connect with a better version of them and they will feel like they're connecting with a better version of you here. 
someone he has definitely got a handle on their jealousy as well from what I can see. They're still working on their communication issues. I feel like they're still working on their communication because right now, as I've mentioned, communication is like either very brief or there's no communication at all. There's still some blockages that they're working through, okay? So there's still some work that needs to happen. But I feel like that, that orchestration of uh, meeting one another, of crossing paths here, you know, that homecoming, that reunion, that coming back to one another, um, do not rush this process. This will happen when the universe wants it to happen. So when the universe believes that the both of you are really ready to vibrationally align with one another here. Okay. Now with the seven of cups here, the message that I get here, just be careful. I feel like this is, comes as a bit of a warning. I don't know if it's for you or your person here. Now, sometimes having too much goals here look having goals and aspirations um long-term goals mini goals they're great they're wonderful but sometimes having too many of them like an excessive amount of them can be like a ground for distraction okay because you've got so many you know so many goals or so many um commitments here that it makes it really hard for you to apply yourself wholly to each one. So it can start to become this sort of breeding ground for distraction. So be careful that that doesn't sort of um, cloud things here. Okay, because it can sometimes... The reason I say this is because it can become really difficult to get into a relationship with someone who doesn't exactly or categorically doesn't want anything in particular if you know what I mean so I don't know if this was your person before and I don't know if this was the issue before because I've mentioned some of you didn't necessarily have a title attached to this connection and it's because coming into this although this person was open to exploring you know the connection with you they didn't necessarily want to categorically attach them to anything so I feel like this was one of their issues maybe could have been one of yours as well but that's come up very strongly for me here um, also, I feel like the other message, it feels like this person has learned to be their own savior, okay? They've finally come to the realization that no one is, you know, going to play hero to them. Um, it, it's, they're not waiting for anyone else to come in and save them. They understand that, you know, they have to love themselves before they can truly love anyone else. And they have to, and they start, or they are starting to, at the very least, understand that they have to play their own hero here, okay? They have to be prepared to work through things that they struggle with the most here. And they're taking responsibility for their own actions and their own um, well-being and their own wellness here. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have to go through things alone because they do have family, friends, and I can see that. But it's just that that accountability and that responsibility that this person is taking, it's really good to see because they stopped waiting for anyone to come along and suddenly, you know, make everything appear so much magically better, right? Okay, um, so now that the both of you have taken the time to work on yourself here, I feel like it's important for you to know that you're becoming a lot more vibrationally aligned with one another, okay? And the universe is giving you a second chance, okay? Because sometimes we don't always get things right the first chance. And look, sometimes some of life's most greatest, most wonderful and most magical adventures actually begin on the wrong foot or the wrong turn. So it is what it is, okay? And the universe here, you know, you've had that time to work on yourself. This person had the time to work on themselves. And now you're going to get a chance at a much happier and healthier relationship when the time is right okay so do not rush anything let everything happen for you here guys and taking the time it's important that you know taking the time to have worked on yourself before your next relationship was honestly probably some of the best things you could have done for yourself you know same goes for your person here you may have missed having someone to lean on, but in the meantime, this has made you so much stronger, so much more resilient as well. All right, guys, and I will leave it at that. So thanks as always for watching, for listening. Thank you for the support. Please feel free to show, you know, some of your support here by 
liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. For those of you interested in a personal reading, or if you'd like for me to follow on from this, please feel free to reach out and connect with me. Or even if you just want to drop an email and say hi, my email address will be listed just below the video here. Otherwise, guys, thanks again for your time and your attention. Greatly appreciated. Bye for now.